Look yonder, Boomer. Howdy, folks. I'm Richard. I got my mystery tackle box in. The panfish version is the one that I like. And I got it in. Hey, let's unbox it and see if we can find anything that we can use in it for crappie. Okay, let's just go straight to the point. Come with me on Gunnersville Lake and we'll use these two products right here. And what we're going to do is catch crappie. We're not going to try to catch crappie. We're going to catch crappie. Come with me. Okay, folks. Hey, I'm on the water right here. I was going to go ahead and go across the river channel and go to our spot that we're going to fish today. But I thought because of the, uh, the loud noises under that bridge, I just think it'd be a lot better if I showed you right now. This is a eight foot wally marshall signature rod okay it's i it has a, it's im6 rod and it's a medium light and um i have power pro line on it this is a uh, super line and it has uh it's a green like a a dark green color which it really doesn't matter not in stained muddy water four pound test it has a diameter of one pound test mono okay Atta i attached a small swivel okay to the power pro and i have a piece of floor carving right here about 16 18 inches long and i'm going to tie a loop knot in this jig right here and by the way let me correct myself it's not marabou it's feathers on the back of it it has a size six hook in it. Okay, folks, let's just do it like this. I've done got a loop knot tied to the jig. I like a loop knot when I'm vertical fishing. Now I'm gonna be putting a minnow behind here. So that's gonna allow a lot of freedom from the line to the eyelet. What I mean by uh, bending a hook is take it right here at the bend and bend it up. It don't take much just a little bit now when i set the hook into that fish that's going to give you instant penetration okay which on this power pro line these super lines they don't have any stretch okay so you don't need to set a hook hard you just actually load up on your rod is about all you do because a crappie has a soft mouth if you set that hook too hard with that type of line you'll rip that crappie's mouth no doubt but now the stuff is sensitive i don't use it a whole lot but the last time i was here these fish they they i mean they hit real real light so and uh, because of that i missed some fish and today i don't want to miss none i want to catch some good crappie today uh, cross your fingers and hope we do we're going to use two different techniques in the same area there's fish coming to me, and uh, I won't have to move a whole lot today and search. That's a good thing. Let's go. Okay, here we are. Uh, the water temperature, the surface temperature is 49 degrees, and that ain't bad at all. But now this water, the lake level's high right now, so they're moving a lot of water, and I knew that was gonna happen. So that's why I added the swivel to eliminate line twist, a real small one. It gets you a real small swivel. Now on baits like this, folks, I take advantage of them. I use, I always use some sort of attractant, fish formula, and it doesn't matter, really, really, really matter what it is, but I'll soak that jig down with it. Just like that. That eliminates my odor off my hand. I really believe I get a few more strikes during the course of the day by doing this. And uh, I'm just going to put a minna on here. Pretty good size one right there for this, but I'm still, I'm going to put him on there and I'll go through both lips right here. Okay. And we're going to get up here and see if we can vertical jig a big old crappie up or a little one. Whatever the day gives us, that's what's going to happen. There we go. 
gentle hook set. Look here. This is a nice crappie. This is let me get him. Hey, 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 hey. I don't want to lose you. Get over here, you pretty thing. That's what I've been fishing for right there. Let's get her net. I get excited and I move too much. Come on in here. And that's what we're fishing for right there. And hopefully bigger. I hope there's a big sow cow in there. But uh, let's take a look at him right here. Now he was hooked funny. Right there like that. And barely. And the reason is I had a, I didn't show y'all, but I had a big minnow on there. I mean a big old minnow. And uh, you can use too big of a minnow like this. You can overbear the size of your hook, you know, but I was fishing for a big fish. So I was fortunate to catch that fish. Okay, that's a good looking fish right there. Let's let him go right here. Albert's got fish. Now, there's no need for him. There's no need to keep no more than he can use. Let's let him go right there. There he goes. Back where he belongs. I hate that, Elmer, but now, if you want them, you need to come on out here with me. Hey, let's catch another one. Having a lot of fun out here on Guntersville Lake. Love it. There he is. Yep. Come on in here. This is a pretty good fish right here, folks. There ain't no doubt. He's doing some pulling right here. This is a big old crappie right here. I'm just gonna take my time. Loosen off my drag. I don't have any stretch in my <laughs> drag at all. I mean my line, I'm excited again. This is a big fish. This is the one I've been fishing for, I guarantee you. Let's get her net. Sorry about all the movement, but I lost my net. Come on in here. Hey. That's a slab, no doubt. That's a big crappie right there. Matter of fact, we're gonna uh we're gonna go ahead and measure him and weigh him. I've got me a scale right here, and then we're gonna let that pretty thing go. That's a huge crappie. Okay. Let's take a look at him. That's what I'm talking about right there that's what i like to catch and that's the way i'm set up right here to catch them. great little technique jig a minute okay let's let's measure him to start with <clears throat> that's a good one. that's a good one. he's more girthy than anything this is a heavy fish heavy crappie okay Let's get the measure on him. Okay, he is 14. If y'all can see that. 14 and about 7 eighths. He's almost 15 inches. Now, what I mean by his girth, he's real heavy. They're just like bass this time of year. They're at their heaviest that they're going to get. Actually, these fish are feeding up for the spawn. You know, we got spring approaching, y'all. Now let's see what this fish weighs. I got some Berkeley. I got some Berkeley scales right here. Now they're calibrated perfect because I got a five pound weight at home and I checked them. Okay, it's a zeroed out right here. Let's see what he weighs. Okay, two pound, one ounce. Let's look the scale. Okay, here's the fish. Okay. Watch him. Let's see what he does. Hey, get your balance. There he goes. There he goes. Now that gives me a good feeling to let a fish like that go. As a matter of fact, uh, to tell you the truth, they don't taste near as good as the nine, 10 inch size. No need to keep them. Okay. Let's go back in here. And there ain't but one thing to do, folks, out here on the Tennessee River or Lake Gunnersville. Catch another fish. 
That's what we do here. Let's do it. There we go. Not much of a hook set. Y'all seen that? Let's see what we got. Pretty good fish right here. Pretty good fish. Come on in here, boy. Get my arms out of the way of the camera. I'm trying to improve that. He's into everything. Give me a fit right there. It's a good, pretty good doggone good crappie there. Hey, I'm slipping everywhere. Count this old rainy weather here in North Alabama. That's fine. There we go. Hey, I tell you what, I have had fun out here today, folks. And I enjoy all the good comments and all the support y'all have given me. I'm not kidding about that. That's a good fish right there. Good Tennessee River fish. He ain't no two pounder, but he's a good fish. And I think we need to let him go, no doubt. Get in there, boy. Going back home. Where's them hooks at here in this mesh? Drag tackle bottom here. Zone lock. Okay. Chemically sharpened crappie hook, brim hook, whatever you want to use it for. It's supposed to be incredibly, incredibly sharp. They're gold Aberdeen, size six. Hey, let's try them, man. Never used that style of hook. On these minnows like this, I like to just hook them up, go in their mouth, and right through their little nose, nostril. There's a pig. Yeah, there's the weight of the fish. He's just barely crawling off. That's what they like to do. I got a big man on here. Well, he turned it loose. Hey, he got it again. Let's see what he is. There we go. Hey. Got her straight. Got, wow. What do we got here? I don't think that's a crappie. If it is, he's... Yeah, it is a crappie, too. He's just fat and crazy. He's mad. I stuck that hook in him. I'm talking about. That's a good fish right there. Come on in here, boy. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. There he is. That's a pretty good fish right there. That one's big enough to measure. Okay. That's... A good fish. I'm gonna say about guessing. I'm gonna say about 12 and a quarter, but let's see what we got. That's just a guesstimate right here. He's a girthy fish. Alright, there he is. His mouth is touching the stop right there, and he is about 12 and 3 sixteenths. Sixteenth shy of a quarter, but he's girthy. That's a heavy fish right there. Beautiful. Let's let him back in the water. Let's let him go. Oh, let's put him over here. I'll lay him. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to let you go. Go on back in there, boy. Hey, this is a lot of fun, folks. It's so much fun. I'm going to rig me up another manor, and we're going to catch some. Hang with me. Woo. He is easing off quick. Let's see what we got. Oh, me? Hey. Come on, Vintage. It's a good one. It's a good one. Come on over here, boy. Got him hooked in a good spot, too, but he may come off. I don't watch him. Come here, boy. <laughs> no, he wouldn't have come unbuttoned. That's a good hook. When you when you see a hook, catch them right in here. You got a good hook. So yeah, mystery tackle box. I like your hook, but now I'm gonna go ahead and just focus on catching crappie. That's a beautiful fish right there. That's a let him go right here. Get 
get on in there, boy. There he goes. Huh. That fish has got it, and I'm talking about. <sighs> wow, 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 wow. Where are you going, boy? Tighten my drag up just a little bit. I had to change rods. He come out there like a lightning bolt. Boat. Now I wonder, it's good fish too. <laughs> he fooled me. I mean, he come out of there like a bass, just like a bass would do. Now that's a big crappie, no doubt. Wow. Dead gone, folks. Let's measure him. He's not no two pounder, but he's a big one. I'm gonna measure these good ones. He's uh, let's look at him right here. We just got to. That's twelve and three eighths. Twelve and three eighths. That's a good one. No doubt. Let's put that fish back right there. got to go back get in there boy straight back okay I'm picking some big minnows count the water is real cloudy so I'm going through my minnows and getting the biggest ones that I can get let's see if we can find us another big one and drop it back down there there's some fish in there they've slowed up a little bit because it's the middle of the day that's typical of a crappie they do their bad about that. Does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost every night? Dead going it. Does your mama not say not chew it, but you swallow it and spite? Dead blame it. Uh, can't fish like that, boy. Old yacht's coming by in here. Me trying to fish. Folks, I want to say uh, I appreciate everything y'all done. We're now reaching about 15,000 subs. That's a lot of people who's watching this channel. And uh, it's mind-blowing to me because <laughs> that's a lot of people to put up with me, I mean, out here on the water. There's something a little wrong. It ain't bad, but there's something just a little wrong. But uh, I enjoy fishing, and uh, I, I know y'all do too. I read each and every comment. We're not able, to, there's so many comments coming in, we're not able to answer them all like we did before. It's impossible now. So we try to answer about the first 50 on each video because I truly enjoy that kind of stuff. I mean, I really do, but times the issue and there's just too many it's just been remarkable been remarkable and you know what this right here out here is no doubt peaceful I really mean that on my videos I just feel at home here and I love it and I know y'all do too but the main important thing right here as far as I'm concerned this is only my opinion Hey, whoa, there it is again. Oh my goodness, whoa, whoa, hey, hey. <laughs>